This year's harvest is on in southern Alberta. Prairie farmers are rushing to get the near record crop off the field before the weather gets nasty. But this year's harvest is peculiar. It has reaped one of the biggest mysteries to hit here in decades. Wow, what is it? Circles of wheat have appeared at several locations in the Lethbridge area. We've got quite a mystery in our hands here in Lethbridge. The first crop circle formation was discovered by farmer Hugh Laycock. First round, I was looking outside the field to make sure the edge was there and didn't notice things. Next time, it came around the right way, and here off the right were these silly holes. So I, oh, gee, that looks like these things we've been reading about all the time. In no time at all, the word was out, and the hunt for answers was on. Armed with a measuring tape and an acute curiosity, the president of the Lethbridge Astronomy Club began the investigation. What caused these strange circles? Is it a weather phenomena, a soil condition, a thundering herd of gophers, or has E.T. developed an affection for southern Alberta? I don't think we saw anything that was man-made there. Uh, the, the field is, is flattened. There, the, the rings are in co uh, clock, one's clockwise, one's counterclockwise. And uh, they're very, very weird. As Lethbridge City Police roped off the area, a pair of crack UFO experts from Edmonton arrived. Gordon Kajak and Gary Farmer began by taking soil and wheat samples for further study. I'd love to explain these, and we're certainly going to keep trying. But what we're trying to do is we're trying to find an explanation in terms that, that you, that the scientist next door, and that the person in the house down the street can accept. Um, but so far, that explanation has been eluding us. For the past decade, crop circles have been appearing in England. And more recently, crop circles like these ones near Winnipeg have been showing up in Canada. Last year, 27 crop circle formations were reported across the country. But the Lethbridge mystery goes a step further. We've got something that almost resembles a pictogram. We've got one circle, and we've got another big circle, and we've got two satellite circles connected by, by a small path. Um, that seems to be an evolving phenomena. Uh, each year, they seem to get a little bit more elaborate. Wheat scientists from Agriculture Canada are stumped. It certainly doesn't appear to be anything caused by pest insects or uh, plant pathogens or even a wind phenomenon because it's the only place in the field that it's uh, occurring, so nothing very obvious. But there are more surprises. As the harvest continued, several more reports of strange crop circles came in. These ones west of Lethbridge were discovered by a baffled Jenny Skinner. I think it's something from space, you know, oh, I mean, from the air, but I don't know. We, we're, I don't like it. So I can say it's a little too close to home. <laughs> <laughs> then, near the town of Warner, farmer Roy Tetzlaff found this group of circles. Right brain like this, I think it would have been pretty obvious if anybody would have, you know, if, if it was a hoax or something. I don't know, something had to land here to do it. I have no idea. We, if it would have been a helicopter or anything like that, we would have heard it because their house is right close here, so. Another family, this time near Okotoks, came across this flattened wheat during an evening walk. News of the crop circles have led to a number of alleged UFO sightings in the region. People convinced they saw something in the sky. The thing that really startled me about it, like it could have been, to me, it could have been anything until it did like a 360 in the air, it moved up like this, and it was like it was right there, right in front of my eyes. Experts say it's not unusual for UFO reports to skyrocket after a mysterious occurrence. People um, get some acknowledgement that something might be happening that they're tending to believe in, they tend to come forward and sort of um, 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 put out what they have experienced, perhaps in an attempt to uh, to uh, get confirmation for their beliefs. And so, like an army of curious ants, hundreds of people have swarmed to the sites for a closer look. Actually, I kind of tend to believe that it possibly might have been a UFO. I think maybe it's Mother Nature. It would be silly to think that we're the only ones around in this, in this universe. And... Even after receiving some results on the soil and wheat samples, Gordon Kajak is still perplexed. We still don't know what's causing the crop circles here. We're not ruling out human involvement, but if there is any, they're a lot smarter than we are because we can't see how they're doing it. And so the riddle remains with more questions than answers. Is there a wild prankster in the area? 
Or is this Southern Alberta's close encounter of a third kind? For Real West, I'm Paul Bezetta in Lethbridge.